name's Marianne Shillingford. I'm the creative director of Dulux, and today I have the great pleasure of answering your colour and decorating problems. I cannot wait to get started. I love this question. Is painting with dark colours as easy as painting with light colours? Well, the answer is yes, it is, practically. The thing about painting with dark colours is you need a little bravery. So if you've never done it before, take on a small room, like a bathroom or a toilet, and see how gorgeous it looks, and then consider painting your bedroom and you will sleep much better. This is another really great question. What colours should I use in a room where I have practically no natural light? Well, the colours you need need to be highly light reflective, and I would suggest very pale off-white, so a colour like apple white or pale opal, and they will make the room seem bigger as well as brighter, but if you want something a little warmer, I would suggest jasmine shimmer. So the question is, what colours go with Sapphire Salute in a living room? Should you paint all of the walls in Sapphire Salute or just the chimney breast? Well, if you're brave enough, try all of the walls. It will pay off. It will look absolutely gorgeous. But if you want something slightly more subtle, team it with a gorgeous, warm, soft grey. Something like Signet Feather or Soft Truffle. So you're looking for a neutral pink for a dark, narrow hallway in a Victorian terrace. So neutral pinks go with everything, they're absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to suggest two colours that I'd like you to try. The first is muted blush, very, very soft, very grey, very, very subtle. And the next is peach blossom. This is a little sweeter, a little brighter, it's got a little bit more energy. So get testers in those, put them on the walls, tell us what you think. a great question about feature wallpaper. Do you choose a colour from the wallpaper to paint the remaining walls or do you choose a contrasting colour? Take a look at this panel behind me. The walls are painted in a contrasting colour which make that panel really stand out. So if that's what you want with your wallpaper, choose a contrasting colour. If you want the wallpaper to be more subtle and for the walls to just draw together and to create a more coordinated look, choose a colour from the wallpaper to paint the remaining walls. you want an ombre effect in a little girl's room, well the secret to getting a successful ombre effect in any colour is to choose colours that are different tones of the same colour. So at the bottom here we've got Country Sky, Tranquil Dawn in the middle and Jade White on the top. And when you've painted those on in horizontal stripes, get a brush with a little Tranquil Dawn on it, that's the middle colour, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very very softly paint dry brush between those colours when they've dried, and you can see, really simple, really quick, really effective. Here's a great question about a small, dark, north-facing kitchen. Should you paint the walls dark and moody, or should you paint the walls light and bright? Well, if you've got great artificial lighting in layers, like underneath the units and above the units and maybe spotlights um, that are controllable, I would go dark and moody. But if you haven't got that, I would definitely go light and pale and make the room appear bigger. But the secret to using dark and moody colours in small spaces is the quality of your artificial light. And make sure that it's layered and controllable. with paint creeping underneath your masking tape, don't worry. This is the way to get a really clean straight line. So here we've got masking tape. I've got some of the background wall colour, which is white, and I'm going to seal the top edge of that tape. And this is where the colours are going to join up with each other. So that's where the colour is going to go. And allow that to dry, and that will seal the top edge of the tape. And then here's one we've done earlier. I'm just going to put the paint on and show you how you get the perfect straight line. No paint ever seeps underneath and it always looks crisp and professional. It's easy, isn't it?
is a great practical question. It's how do I paint the ceiling on the walls in a really high stairwell when I've got nowhere to balance the ladders? Well, my advice is don't do it yourself. Get a professional in. So have a look for your local Dulux Select decorator. They will have all of the kit and they will do that safely and beautifully for you. I love this question that made me laugh. If you have a partner who doesn't like colour and the whole of the house is painted white but you want a Mediterranean vibe, well I would suggest the world's favourite colour, blue. But Mediterranean blues don't look quite so good in the UK so I'm going to suggest two colours that will look absolutely gorgeous and the first one is Marine Splash and then the second one if you want to tone it down a little bit is a colour called Blue View. Try those, I think your partner might change their mind. I have really enjoyed answering your colour and decorating questions. So until next time, happy decorating. Goodbye.